All right, John Oaks here with Hexter's Hot Rods today here in our Homer City, Pennsylvania location. Today we're going to go over the newest addition to our inventory, and this is a 1966 Chevy Chevelle uh, th uh, SS396 style. Um, so as you can see, ours is done, and it's not black. It's, uh, it's what we're going to consider a black cherry. Um, so it's actually a really neat color here if you're standing here looking at it. But no, it is definitely not black, though. Um, now our car, as you can see, it's got all the chrome bumpers on, it's got all the 396 badging, the Super Sport badging, as well as all of your, uh, um, your SS hood and, and so forth like that um, to make it, you know, just like an SS car. So, we'll go around the outside, point out all of this stuff to you, look inside and under the hood and in the trunk, and then finally we'll get it on the lift for you as well. So as you can see, it's got the 396 cross flag emblems here on the front fender. It does have that SS hood on it also. That is a steel SS hood, by the way. Um, as far as the wheels and tires on the car, we do have Krager SS Chrome steel wheels. Um, again, a nice looking wheel for the vintage style cars here. And then a set of Cooper Cobra Radial GT tires. Now up front, we've got uh, 215 uh, 5560s, or let me let me start over again. We've got 215 65R15s on the front and 245 60R15s on the back. Now, when we come back to our door here, um, you can see the gaps on this car. Actually, pretty nice gaps as far as that goes. Elevations are good too. All of your body lines line up. The door handles are in good shape. It's got the chrome mirrors on both sides, driver and passenger. The chrome on these things is in real nice shape. Glass in them also, same thing, in really good shape. Far as the windows here in the side, um, windows are in great shape. Even the vent window here, no chips or cracks to speak of. Even your moldings on, the, on and around these windows are in really good shape. Uh, very little hitting, if any, on any of this stuff. It's very polished up real well here. Looks good. Even your drip rail moldings here, those look good. Feeling through the rain gutter, that's nice and smooth too, the whole way around those windows. Um, it even has the bright lower body trim, as well as those wheel lip moldings too on the car. Now let's go inside, take a look at the interior. You're going to see it's got all black interior, front bucket seats, all seat belts are there, black carpeting, black headliner. Factory dash, uh, as far as the pad and all that stuff goes, it does have a carbon fiber insert in the dash with all autometer sport comp gauges. So you'll see it's got the fuel, the voltmeter, the speedo, the 8000 RPM tack, oil pressure gauge, water temperature gauge, all of that in the uh, dash. And again, they all look good in there. Uh, as far as the center console, it is an automatic car. It's got the automatic center console with a B&M shifter in it. Uh, door panels are in good shape too on the car. All your weather stripping and seals, even up around the top part of your window here. All of that is in good condition on this car. We'll take another look as we get to the passenger side. We'll open the door and look at that tilt column too in there with billet knobs. So again, nice little touch there. As we come back, we've already talked about the wheels and tires on the car, our quarter panels, the whole car, the body down the sides looks very straight the whole way down the side. You've got the Super Sport badging on the quarter panels. As we come around the back of the car here, we've got our rear bumper here done in chrome, very nice chrome on there. Uh, the blacked out tail panel with the SS396 and the Chevelle badging. Tail lights, those are in great condition too taillight bezels in good condition as well. You can see the trunk here as far as the gaps, the fitment, the alignment, all of that stuff all looks very well. You've got the rear glass too, again in great shape, no chips or cracks in that, and your bright work, your moldings around your window, those are in good shape. You also have the antenna up here on the quarter panel. Let me just sneak around, I need to grab the keys so we can go inside the trunk there and take a look. So we'll lift that up and we'll take a look inside there. Just bear with me until I get pick the right key right off the bat. 
So when we open our hood up, obviously you can see underside of this trunk lid's painted exact same color as the rest of the car. Nice shiny paint underneath there too, so they finished that off very well. Your trunk hinges and your spring, those are all operating as they should, holding everything up. The trunk itself is in good shape. They've got a nice little, kind of like a custom mat in here. I'm going to assume, yep, that's the Chevy bow tie emblem there. And again, you've got a set of uh, full floor mats for the car there. We just elect to take them out just so we can show you the condition of the carpeting inside. Uh, the weather stripping and the seals around the trunk, all in good shape, nice and soft. They meet together here in the center. So again, that should seal everything up very well from the outside elements. We'll go ahead and close this and then we'll continue around the passenger side. So here on the passenger side, again, sides of this car, the bodywork, all nice and straight. Matching emblems there back there with the Super Sport emblems. Uh, again, you can see that lower body trim as well as the wheel lip moldings on the car. We get to this side now as far as our glass and our drip rail moldings. Again, nicely polished up drip rail moldings. The rain gutter nice and smooth down inside that. Glass is great shape too again. No chips or uh, cracks in that. The moldings on the windows are in great shape too. Uh, no pitting on this side here at all. Looks very, very nice. Let's go ahead and open this door up. And again, you'll just take a peek from this side. The interior, the upholstery itself is in great shape. The dash pad, no cracks in any of that. You can see the B&M floor shifter in there along with that dash, uh, the insert there. Now this car does have an aftermarket radio. Uh, it is one of the custom auto sound radios that fit right in stock location with no modifications. It does have speakers in the kick panels as well as in that package tray too. So again, you're going to have a good, you know, good sound system to go cruise around with. As we close this side, you'll see it closes nice and easy. Gaps on this side here are pretty good too. Elevations dead on, all body lines, those all line up as well. And again, that chrome on the mirrors there, those are all in great shape. As we walk ourselves forward, you've got the matching 396 emblem on the passenger side front fender. And now we come around to the front end of the car here. You've got the SS396 emblem here in the center of the grill. The grill is blacked out, does have a little bit of the bright work along uh, the edges there. Bright work around the edge of the hood here too, as well as down the center here, all of which are in really good shape there. Bumper, chrome bumper, nicely done there too. Again, nice and smooth, polished up real well. Let's go ahead inside, or under our hood I should say, and we'll take a peek at what we have here now. So the underside of the hood, again, it's it's all painted up here. Uh, I'm not sure, we can't, it is the same color as the car there, yes. Um, now the actual um, engine compartment itself, blacked out in here as it should be. Uh, and then as far as the motor goes, this is not the original numbers match motor for the car, uh, but it is nonetheless a 396 cubic inch big block Chevy. Um, it's got the chrome air cleaner there. It's got polished aluminum valve covers with breathers in them as well. Um, the ignition system's been slightly upgraded to an HEI ignition here. Uh, it does have eight millimeter Excel super stock plug wires on it too to help get the spark to it. Underneath we've got a Holley 750 carburetor and as you can see it's got the steel braided fuel lines coming from the uh, Edelbrock uh, fuel pump there to a, uh, a fuel rail there for the double pumper. Does have a fuel pressure gauge right out here too, so if you're doing any kind of engine work, you can monitor that. It's got the Wyand aluminum intake, an aluminum water pump, aluminum pulleys, chrome alternator. Now this car is power brakes. It's disc brakes up front, drums on the rear, but it is, however, manual steering car. Does have a stock style radiator in it with a shroud, and a six blade aluminum fan. Uh, we've got a set of long tube headers. These are Headman headers on this particular car. Going into a set of two and a half inch dual exhaust, stainless MagnaFlow mufflers, and of course tailpipes that exit out the rear of the car. Now as far as the rest of the drive line on the car, behind this motor we've got a turbo 400 automatic transmission. Good stout transmission for a big block motor, so it's going to handle the power that you put to it. 
And then as far as the rear end goes, it's a 12 bolt GM rear end. It is a posi unit in there and it's a 373 gear. So with that said, that's pretty much everything around the outside of our Chevelle. We've been in the interior under the or in the trunk and under the hood now. Now let's get this on the lift for you so we can check out the underside of it. And then finally, we'll fire that 396 big block up and let you hear what those MagnaFlow mufflers sound like. All right, so we're underneath our 66 uh, Chevelle here. So we're going to go through this car as we always do, uh, complete from front to back underneath here, um, pointing out to you exactly what we're looking at as far as the steering, suspension, braking, driveline, frame, floors, wheels, and tires. Uh, so starting at the front of this car, nothing too flashy underneath here. You've got all of your stock uh, suspension here, stock front cross member, the stamped upper and lower uh, control arms for the car. Ball joints are in good condition and you can tell everything's been maintained very well on the underside of this car here at Degrees Fittings. It does have a front sway bar on it. The sway bar bushings here at the frame all in good shape as well as the sway bar end link bushings also. Um, now for steering, this is a manual steering car. Um, all your tie rods here are to the front of your A-arms um, so it's hard to see them from there but again all of the ball joints are in good shape on this. All the little rubber dust boot covers those are all intact also. Um, as far as braking, now this car does have power brakes though. It's a disc brake up front drums back on the rear so again braking is going to be very good on this car. While we're under the front here we'll go ahead through the drive line. Uh, we do have a 396 cubic inch big block Chevrolet motor here. Um, now this is not the numbers matching motor uh, but nonetheless big block 396 power right here. For the transmission turbo 400 so it does have a nice stout transmission in it to go with that uh, big block motor there and of course it does have the flywheel uh, cover here to help protect that. Uh, as far as the pans on both the motor and the transmission, those pans as I'm looking at them here are both free of any leaks or drips so everything's nice and dry underneath here. As we come back a little further you've got your transmission cross member, the mount for the tail shaft that's in good condition. This does have a drive shaft loop also so that's a good safety feature here to have. Your drive shaft then of course is a balanced unit so that's going to take a lot of vibration out of your drive train. Then we come back here to the rear end on the car. This is a GM 12 bolt rear end. It is a posi unit inside that third member and it is a 373 gear. Um, so again that's going to be real good for you as far as getting up and going uh, on the streets. If you're cruising around not bad either. It's not going to over rev the motor. As far as uh, brakes, I've already mentioned it's drum on the back here. Uh, suspension, just your typical metric four link here. You do have your lower control arms, your upper control arms up above there. Everything looks to be in good shape as far as all your bushings and so forth. And as far as your shocks uh, and springs, just your typical set of gas shocks back here and of course your coil springs there too. Now you can obviously see the exhaust system on the car. Real nice exhaust. We've got long tube headers here uh, coming off of that big block Chevy motor. Of course you can see the dual exhaust here. You've got your X pipe right in the center and then of course a set of dual MagnaFlow mufflers back here. Nice looking mufflers and then you do have your tailpipes. Correct style tailpipe up over top of the rear end housing and exiting out right below the rear bumper. As far as your fuel tank, uh, the fuel tank's not in bad shape either. It looks pretty good underneath here. Um, all your mounting hardware, the straps and so forth, those are all in good shape. Looks like we've got some stainless braided uh, uh, fuel line back here too. So that's always going to remain good. Uh, the emergency brake, it's all hooked up underneath here too. So starting with your front cables, your intermediates, frame J hooks, and then of course your rear brake lines go on to those rear drum brakes. Everything is all present and working on those, uh, the emergency brake. Fuel lines and brake lines run along the sides of the frame here. The frame itself is in good shape. Of course the Chevelle full frame car. So again, your front frame here section, all nice and straight, of course, going into the center here. Of course, it's not, not uh, 
not boxed in, but they weren't from the factory. So again, this is how it would have been. And of course, the rear frame sections there too, nice and straight, good and square the whole way back along the car. And the floors, the floors are actually fairly nice too on this car. You can see all the correct stamping lines and all of the floor pans. Um, I don't really see too much patching. Just maybe one little spot underneath the, uh, uh, looks like the driver's side footboard here. But other than that, Everything looks good. You can see all the braces are still all intact on this car. Uh, it just looks really good underneath here and good and solid too. Uh, pinch welds and rockers, both of those nice and straight and the rockers are in good shape on the car too. Um, trunk, from what we can see of the floor underneath here, the trunk actually looks good too as far as that floor pan goes. Now again, can't see a majority of it because of the fuel tank underneath here, but you will see in our uh, video that we do our walk around here of the car, we go inside the trunk, you'll notice that the front floors are going to be in good shape there. So that is uh, pretty much it other than wheels and tires. Uh, wheels on this car, 15.7s on the front, 15.8s out on the back. These are Kreger SS mags. They are the chrome steel wheels. Nice looking wheel, again, uh, for a classic car. Uh, and then as far as the tires, they are Cooper Cobra Radial GTs. Uh, we've got 215.65 R15s on the front. And then on the back, we've got 245.60 R15s back there. All of the tread looks in really good shape on these tires. So that is it for underneath our 66 Chevelle. We're gonna go ahead and bring this down off the lift now, go underneath the hood. We'll fire that big block up and let you hear what it sounds like. <laughs> 